Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch once again with another quick and easy tip. Uh, I did, this just happened. I was just out here working and I said, damn, I'm going to fix that. And I thought about it and came up with this idea. Maybe it'll help with you too. I do a lot of work with the drill press. You see the drill press here. It's a big, big, very, very important tool. And, uh, and, and uh, there are different ways. When you, when, you, when you use a drill press, certainly on metal, I just drilled a hole in a half inch piece of metal. When, when you use a drill press on a piece of metal, you've got to anchor the piece of metal really well. You've got your table locked and everything else is locked. But you put the piece of metal on there, you've got to anchor it really, really well. You can use a clamp on top and so on. But for small devices, for small items, of course, you, you use a, a, a drill, a, a drill vice or what they call a, a, a table vice of some sort, something like this. Yeah, I mean, you've all seen them. It tips and gives you the right anchor. You can put things in there and drill. Okay. Now, here was the problem. I've had this problem ever since I got this drill press. And if you take a look at the drill press, you see I've had it for more than two or three days. You know, like about, 35 years, but anyway, this is the way it came. It has slots on the table so that you can put nuts and bolts on it to lock the vise into position. And, and the vise itself has slots in it, as you can see them there, slots in each end. So you can lock it down with the nuts and bolts. So the way it came, there was a nice big uh, fat uh, nut and a bolt and, and with a wing nut on the bottom and a couple of washers. And it's simple. You put the vise in position and you tighten up the wing nut on the bottom on each end. Now here's the problem. As you tighten the wing nut, just using your hands, you see what happens to the bolt. The bolt turns. So sometimes it's really hard. You get a wrench out. You got to hold that and twist this and, and you finally get it tight. Okay, you do your work. Now you want to take this off or maybe during the job you have to reposition it. So what do you do? Well, you reach in here with the wing nut and you undo it. You see what happens? The bolt turns. Now you can't get the dirt. You can't get it on. You can't get it off. It's just a darn nuisance. And, and it looks like a very, very simple problem to fix. But I looked at it and looked at it and I wasn't too sure. The vice itself is cast. You can't do too much to the vice itself. I toyed with the idea of welding something on it, and you can't touch the vice. And then I was going to uh, put a carriage bolt in here, and the square section of the carriage bolt would fit into the. But there isn't really a carriage bolt that fits in there snugly. I didn't want to, you know, damage it. So, I, and then finally, what I came up with is really simple: to take a washer, just take a big washer, much bigger than the one <clears throat> that was with it much bigger. This washer is so big that it actually is too long. It goes right into the vise, right in there. And then, you see, what I, I simply ground off a flat on one side, and that flat fits right tight against the, the, the inside of the vise. There's something flat. I'm sure on your vise you'll find there's something flat in there. You just got to get a washer that's big enough. You might need two. Stack them up a little bit. Get a washer that's big enough that it will lock onto the vise. It's, it can't turn. So now what do you do? Well, you've got your bolt. It'll still spin in that washer. So that's no good. Well, it's simple. There. Yeah. Well, the bolt to the washer. So now, when I put the bolt in, it sits against the flat of the vise. I put the washer on the bottom with the wing nut. <clears throat> and I get the wing nut done up. That flat section of the washer fits tight against the flat of the vise. I don't have to touch it at all, just holding the position, tighten it up like so, and I'll turn it up as much as I want. The other end, the same thing. Now, I want to reposition it or take it off, I just reach down and undo it. It doesn't turn. Just that easy. I know it's a simple little thing, but it just might be a tip for you. If you've been like me, frustrated, and, you're, and you've got to go get a wrench and everything else to make sure it's secure with your with your your, your table vise on, on your door press or any other uh, piece of machinery, there's a little tip. Take a washer. Grind off a flat on one side so it jams against the vise. Weld the bolt to the big washer, drop it through into it up. Simple little tip, only take a few minutes. Ah, maybe there's an idea in there for you. Next time you're using your drill vise, your, your drill press, and using a vise like this, maybe you'll think of me. <laughs> okay, guys, talk to you soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch.